What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. <sighs> we are about to get into Krishan's sister. Um, which sister is this? Tessa. Tessa is upset with she's well, you know what? I don't know if she's upset with Krishan and Tessa, but basically she is not rocking with them because right now she is financially struggling and basically they're not helping her. Yeah. So let's get into this. And then I got a lot to say. For the haters, I'm grateful for every obstacle, every trial that I go through. I'm ready to cry. I thank God for everything that I go through. But I will never, I will never downplay my family. I will try my best to uplift them. Even me detaching from them. Like I fell back from everyone for these this past six months. Like I've been, yeah, we was together with Sean on Mother's Day, whoop de woo. That's how they said in LA, whoop de woo, you know. But I'm very grateful, you know, because y'all just don't know. If you knew my testimony, y'all wouldn't even pay attention to the dumb stuff that's being said. That's not even true. If I go back to LA and it'd be awesome, I just wanna go and, you know, hang out with my fam or if niggas call me with a position, it's in my account, but I'd never do that again. A position that's in my account. Go out on word of mouth. Oh, yeah, I put <laughs> you on a payroll glow. <laughs> it don't happen. <laughs> but, yeah. I just pray, me, Father, for those who have, are having financial problems, oh, God, like me. Everyone thank, oh, Lord, oh, because two of my family members are famous, oh, God, and have this and that. No, Lord, I pray, Lord, for them. And that you will continue, Lord God, to provide for them, oh God. But I pray, Lord God, that you will position me where I'm able to get my restaurant, oh God. No weapon formed against us shall prosper, oh Lord. And we thank you so much that we can call upon your name, oh Lord. We thank you that we can call upon your name, oh Lord, oh Lord. This is terrible. So much stress, oh Lord, normal. The people are on my love, oh Lord, but you do, oh Lord. You know what they stand in need of, oh God. Let's have your way, Lord. Help people to learn how to communicate, Lord God, without it going left, oh Lord. Help those. You know, normally I don't listen to their prayers um, because I feel like they weaponize God a lot. But I'm gonna listen to this one. I don't, I don't get too much of a, a bad vibe from Tessa, to be honest. Which I never have, aside from the rest of them. But Tessa, I never really got a bad. Oh, oh, we working, so it's vibrational. You'll be able to feel it. Oh. And I'm opening up a restaurant too. I can't wait to tell you guys the good news. But the food about to be bomb and shit. Because my sister know how to cook. So we got y'all grateful, you know, even for the haters. I'm grateful for. All right. So let's get into this. First of all, I think that um, I think that in the beginning, Krishan has good intentions with helping, right? Then I also think that she spends a lot of money and don't realize how much work and how much money it takes to actually open up a business. I feel like she'd rather spend 40000 on a chain than 40000 on a business. She sh She's shown us that, right? So I think that in this process with Tessa, uh, we're opening up a restaurant with Krishan or however it was supposed to go. I think that Krishan changed her mind. It was either she changed her mind or she decided, you know what? I can't afford this. Now, Tessa being the age that she is, you know that you don't count money that you don't have because unfortunately, a lot of people do say a lot of things. I too have, you know, tried to work with people and had all intentions though on um making sure we worked as a team but sometimes when you get to you know doing the team thing it ain't always a team thing you know people always slack and lack where they supposed to um do their job at and then I don't I'm not gonna invest in you anymore because you're not handling your business you know what I'm saying so I feel as though it could have been one or the three things Tessa went out there was expecting Krishan to pay for everything for her and her family which Ultimately, if Krishan got her and all her family coming out there, you're going to have to help. You're going to have to make sure they straight while they're there. That's number one. Number two, um, she decided, you know what? I ain't about to do this. Tessa ain't playing her role. She ain't doing what she's supposed to do. So I'm just going to pull out. That's number two. Number three, 
she decided, you know what, I'm just going to do what I want to do with Blue, put all my money into Blue, the end. Uh, we know all three is likely to happen because um, Krishan just, she changes her mind. She's temperamental. Sometimes she want to, sometimes she don't. And she'll get, give everything to Blue. She will. Now, on the other hand that I'm on is y'all grown. Like, come on now. You got the hand of your business. You the one who laid down with the man that had them children. You got to take care of your children. Ultimately, a person cannot do everything for you and you are not their responsibility. Not only that, you may be struggling, but some people are actually struggling in business. It's a lot to put into business. I've had about eight people asking me for money here lately, and I'm feeding five mouths of one income. It's no way in hell I'm going to be able to add six. Respectfully, I cannot do it. So although you may see a lifestyle and whatever, if I told y'all my bills, y'all would be sick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like these business bills and this family, these family bills and things like that, just because you see a person with money, don't mean, damn, y'all ain't y'all not going to help her up? That's crazy. I'm sorry, I'm watching the game. That's crazy. She's just laying down, hurt, and y'all continuing to play is crazy. The NBA would never, okay? But anyway, um, so I just feel like that it's one of, 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 of the three things. And I want to know how y'all feel about it. Now, I know a lot of people are struggling financially, and that's why I always tell y'all it's time for y'all to get on that digital money, period. But when you say digital money, I don't think people really understand what you mean. Also, when you say digital money, I think that people think it's a scam. People, You call everything a scam but a job, right? It's so many ways to make money out here. It'll, it'll, y'all will be disgusted. You just got to put a little bit of work in. Might have to use a $12 app, but that's it. You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't hurt to try, you know? And quite frankly, outside of begging, I don't think that they have really tried. You know, and I'm not in her home, so that's no disrespect. I'm just saying, though, like, come on, sis. You the older sister. Somebody got to be the example. Outside of Tesseki at this point in Tesseki, Tesseki piggybacked off of Krishan and handled her B.I., but ultimately, she got a man to take care of. She got a team to take care of. She got her kids to take care of as well. Just And people got their own lifestyle. <clears throat> I'm not going to go into my lifestyle pocket to take care of your bills. When you're supposed to handle your bill, I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? So I just I want people to take life very seriously right now because it ain't no joke. And also... People don't have to take their hard-earned money and give it to you. Now, Krishan need to stop giving out these um, hopeless um, promises, you know, these broken promises, because ain't no need for that. And Tessa learned her lesson. I would never go out there with Krishan anyway, because <laughs> I just, she got too much going on. You know what I'm saying? Had too much going on at the time, for real. When her and Blue get together, whatever they got going on, girl, some people going to be real real sick and her sisters are going to be the first ones to roll walk and skip her right up under the bus i'm telling you right now <laughs> um so i just want to know what y'all think down in the comment section below i mean to be the 11th child out of 12 and you are looked at to give your money away um even if you're making a hundred thousand dollars a day or whatever she say that ain't none of my business. You know what I'm saying? And I think she just deciding I'm going to handle that. Or it's for one more thing. She's saving up to, to pay for Blueface's $13 million lawsuit. So, yeah, I want to know what y'all thinking about that down in the comment section below. I mean, no disrespect with this video. I'm just saying, come on, we got to be grown. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me know what y'all thinking. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.